Welcome back to the channel, and today I'd like to talk to you about this Seymour Duncan Vintage Stack for Telecaster Neck Pickup. The name really says it all. This is a vintage voiced uh, Telecaster Neck Pickup. It is a stack single coil to cancel the 60 cycle hum, and it does an excellent job of doing that. And it also has a great tone. If you look at the EQ profile on the Seymour Duncan website, it's got a little bit of a scooped mid, and I think that's accurate. Uh, I don't think it's made to be any particular year or decade, just vintage, and I would say that it uh, pulls that off very well. I know a lot of people don't like stack single coils or noiseless single coils, and what they're called varies depending on the manufacturer, but this one sounds and uh, the feel and response of it is almost identical to a regular single coil. Maybe I can tell a very minor difference, but it works so great and sounds so great, it doesn't bother me uh, at all. I think that it uh, really complements this hot uh, lead for Telly bridge pickup uh, very well. That's one reason why I combine these two. If you've listened to uh, any of my music, the song End of the World Blues, the main rhythm part, are the two pickups combined. Uh, the song All the Love in the World, the solo in the middle, is this pickup through a Fender Champion 600. And it just works great. I just love it. I'm going to play you some sound samples through a couple different amps and some different pedals uh, to give you an idea of uh, what it can do. Uh, one thing I will note, it is a stack single coil. So this is a uh, truly a parts caster. This is a Ash Baja Telecaster body and it has a vintage sized uh, neck pickup route. So it uh, fits in there very snugly because it's such a tall pickup in terms of the height, so there's not a whole lot of room for adjustment here. So just keep that in mind uh, if you're looking at uh, one of these. But uh, that being said, it is a great pickup, and I'll play you some uh, sound samples now and then come back with my final thoughts. <laughs> some game. Thank you. 
sound samples were helpful. They were all recorded with a Shure SM57 into a Tascam audio interface directly into my iPhone. So again, I think this is a great pickup. It does what it's supposed to. I don't believe I mentioned in the intro the DC resistance is 15.4. So uh, keeping in mind this is a stack single coil, so essentially a humbucker 
uh, keeping that factor into the equation, that does uh, give it a vintage output statistically, and I think the sound uh, bore that out in the samples as well. The retail price at the moment is $109. I think I paid $85 for it uh, brand new a little more than two years ago, but as uh, you likely know, inflation is the name of the game, especially in the uh, guitar industry at the moment, so uh, that's what you would be looking at. That is uh, similar, I think a little bit more, uh, but similar to the uh, Fender pickup equivalent. And of course there is a, a matching uh, stacked uh, bridge pickup uh, if you wanted to get that. I think that set is 218, but of course this is a uh, hot lead for telly because that's more of the sound I was going for. I think they balance together uh, fantastically though. That's you know something I'm very happy with. I really like having the uh, hotter bridge pickup and the vintage uh, neck pickup because I think they serve their respective purposes very well and blend together very well. But again, you just heard the sound samples, so uh, uh, judge for yourself. It was very easy to install. I did it myself. I've installed many pickups over the years, but uh, I'm not a professional at all. But it was easy for me to do. Uh, again, not much else to say, but it's a great pickup. If you're thinking about trying one out, I would encourage you to do so. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to having uh, some more content for you here in the near future, including a very special Telecaster I came across here recently uh, from, oh, we'll say the 90s. And uh, I'm very excited to share that with you. So that's going to be coming up soon. So until next time, keep on rocking.